Hi, I'm Alan at DNH, and in this video, we're going to take a close look at why photographers use polarizing filters. Typically, polarizers are used to eliminate unwanted reflections and desaturated color levels caused by glare. Once screwed into the front of the lens, you simply rotate the outer ring of the filter until you see the desired degree of polarization in the camera's viewfinder or LCD. The benefits of polarizers are most noticeable when viewing pictures with an abundance of foliage and blue sunny skies. In the case of foliage, eliminating glare reflecting off flowers and leaves makes it possible to render color more accurately. Blue skies turn several shades darker when photographed through polarizing filters, and any white clouds in the scene seemingly pop from their darker blue surroundings. When photographing water, polarizers greatly reduce if not eliminate reflections, revealing not only the surface texture of the water, but details of any objects, plants, and animal life that might be lurking beneath the surface. Polarizers work equally well when it comes to eliminating reflections from windows and other non-metallic surfaces. Because polarizers neutralize the effects of UV radiation, pictures captured through polarizers at higher altitudes or by large bodies of water where UV levels tend to be elevated often appear warmer than the same scene photographed without a polarizing filter. There are two basic types of polarizing filters, linear and circular. And though they both look and function the same, circular polarizers are specifically designed for use with autofocus and auto exposure systems. Linear polarizers, on the other hand, are strictly for use with manual focus lenses and non-TTL light metering systems. Unlike linear polarizers, circular polarizers can be used with both manual and autofocus lenses as well as TTL and non-TTL metering systems. Gray in appearance, polarizing filters are available in neutral as well as warm tones and generally require about one and a half to three additional stops of exposure value. When using polarizers, the sun should not be directly in front of or behind your subject, but rather about 90 degrees off to your side. Other influencing factors include field of view and the focal length of the lens you're using. Keep in mind that when using polarizing filters on lenses with fields of view wider than about 84 degrees, tonal gradations in the sky are often rendered unevenly. This effect is most likely to occur when using lenses wider than 24 mm on a full frame camera, 16 mm on APS-C format cameras, or 12 mm on Micro Four Third cameras. The most commonly used polaroids are round screw in type filters that are available at B&H in thread sizes ranging from 25 mm through 145 mm. They are also available in various bayonet sizes as well as rectangular and circular drop-in shapes for use in dedicated filter holders, matte boxes, and DSLR rigs. To prevent vignetting when shooting with ultra-wide angle lenses, many screw-in polarizers are available with thinner, low-profile retaining rings. If your shooting plans include extreme climates and high humidity levels, casement polarizers, which are manufactured by B+W, feature sealed edges that prevent humidity from compromising the integrity of laminated surfaces of the filter. Casement polarizing filters are also more neutral in color and produce sharper results compared to regular polarizing filters. When shopping for a polarizing filter, things to keep in mind are optical quality. You don't want to compromise a resolving power of a lens costing hundreds, if not thousands of dollars with an inexpensive filter. Filters made with shot or water white glass tend to render color more faithful compared to lesser quality optical glass. The types of coatings used on the lens, be they nano or any of the newer multi-coatings, also have an effect on image quality of your pictures. The thickness of the filter glass is also a factor. Generally speaking, the thinner the glass, the higher the image quality. For photographing near large bodies of water at higher altitudes or other environments with elevated levels of ultraviolet light, Polarizer are available with extra heavy UV coatings. Lastly, always consider the filtering. Most lens threads are aluminum, and depending on the type of aluminum used to manufacture the ring, the filter might be prone to jamming. Jam filters can be avoided by choosing filters made with rings made from materials that differ from the filter threads. As an example, if the lens barrel and threads are made from aluminum, choose filters made with brass or harder anodized aluminum rings. And remember, always screw a filter into the lens straight on and not at an angle. Well, I hope that gives you some insight on how and why to use a polarizer. My name is Alan. Thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, BH has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.